I have ordered now a second uh, one of these uh, playpen gates, and I've basically uh, made half of the room, or as you can see, about probably about two thirds of the room, is play area. Now, right now, uh, as small as he is, the play area that I have is fine. But uh, as obviously he gets bigger, we're going to want him to have more room than I. If he gets used to being in a room like this, he's less apt to try to get out. Eventually, he's going to be tall enough where he would be able to jump over or get out of here. Uh, but for the meantime, uh, this should work. Now, um, it was actually a little bit bigger than I needed. Um, so as you can see, some of these are going behind here. Um, what I would recommend is you put it against the wall. Um, we had a problem with this long side here it was pretty wobbly. I was worried that he might be able to knock it over. So we just basically jerry-rigged it by moving my little uh, vanity table that we have. Uh, all of the, uh, yes, he's a daddy's boy. Um, all the uh, uh, puppy uh, pads and treats and all that fun stuff in to give it some support. And I think it was, a, it was Tara's idea, by the way, um, which I think is perfect. Now one other thing, I moved the puppy pad over here in the corner. I used to have it over here by the door, but my concern was that it's gonna cause, uh, it's closest to the door to the room. So uh, generally uh, puppies will learn from their mothers to go defecate and uh, urinate far away from the dead area. So because he's facing this way when he comes out all its wire, I just thought that was the best area to put it. We'll see if he actually uses it tonight because he's used to going right about here. Uh, but I cannot tell you how much of a better quality of life you will have and your dog will have if you give them a playpen like this. Try to combine them in a kennel like this. It's just way too early. They can generally hold their bladder for one hour for each month of their life. So at this point, it's three months, and not even three months old. So if you want, unless you want to get up every three hours at night, now at night they're dormant, so they go a little bit longer. Uh, you can start cutting off the food a little bit early. Now, if he is not a stone former, but Dalmatians have a tendency to get stone and if you, uh, stones. If you limit their water intake, that can cause them to crystallize their urine as well, which is not stones, but it's also not advisable. So uh, with this, he can get up in the morning, he can take a poop, he can uh, pee multiple times when I come in here. Which the puppy pad in the morning is usually, uh, he's urinated on it a couple times, but I get to sleep in nicely. And I can also work during the day. Obviously, I work from my home being a behaviorist, but I'm able to put him in here. Uh, close the door or just go out of his eyesight and he settles down pretty quickly and he does hang out in the kennel. Now one last little thing is I have a throw rug that I was going to, it's just really a, almost like a, a, a feet map. Uh, what am I trying to say? You wipe your feet on? Floor, uh, floor mat. And uh, I had, to, I told Tara to grab it at one point I was going to put it on here because this is, it's linoleum, it's not actual wood uh, or just vinyl flooring. But I decided against it because I want the only soft, comfortable place to be, besides my lap, to be in here. Because eventually he is going to be kennel trained, and I want to give him more incentive to go into the kennel by making no other area, except for the puppy pad, which once it's used, he won't use, be in here, and he just has more incentive to go in here. So this is the bigger, more refi uh, revised uh, version of the dog play pen, and I'm very happy with it. So if you're getting a puppy and you have the space, I highly recommend it.